Have you ever watched a bunch of SQL tutorials, felt like you understood everything, but when you actually had to write a query on your own, your brain froze? This isn't because you're bad at SQL. It's because tutorials alone won't make you good at SQL. In this video, I'll explain why tutorials give you that false sense of confidence, why practice is the real key to improvement, and how you can start breaking out of this problem today. And before we dive in, if you want a quick reference guide to the common SQL commands, I've created a set of SQL cheat sheets you can grab for free. The link is in the description. Let's start with the trap most people fall into, tutorial hell. You watch one video, then another, then a playlist. It feels like you're learning because you understand what you're seeing on screen. However, understanding isn't the same as applying. It's like watching gym workout videos. You could spend hours learning perfect form and memorizing routines. But does that make you stronger? No. You only get stronger when you actually lift the weights. Outside of creating these videos on YouTube and my day job, I practice karate. It's an old martial art and people have written down the techniques in books, websites and other YouTube videos. These are helpful to know what something is. However, I won't get better at the technique unless I actually do the technique, not just read about it or watch it. SQL works in the same way. You can watch me write a query. You can even understand it. But until you sit down at an SQL editor and write the query yourself, you haven't really learned it. So why is practice so critical? Because that's how your brain builds what's basically muscle memory for SQL. At first, you'll forget the order of keywords. You'll confuse the where clause with the having clause. You'll be unsure which aggregate function to use. This is normal. But the more you practice, the faster those little details stick. You'll remember that the select keyword comes first and then from. Eventually, you won't even think twice. You'll just write the query. To use that gym analogy from earlier, you don't get stronger or better at lifting weights or running by watching videos or other people. You get better by doing it. SQL is no different. Reading about queries or watching them is like watching others. Practice is writing the code. Here is where most people get stuck. The gap between knowing and doing. Most tutorials stop at the theory. They'll explain a join or show you how to use a group by. You nod along as you watch thinking, yeah, I got it. But then you open up your SQL editor and try to write your own query. Suddenly, you don't know where to start. That blank screen is intimidating because you're missing the practice step in between. Without practice, you're just consuming content. This content consumption feels productive, but it doesn't actually move your skills forward. I'm guilty of the same thing. I often get distracted with consuming more and more content and not practicing. If you can relate to this video and you want a structured way to actually apply what you learn, you'll love my course, SQL Simplified. It includes a range of video lessons to help you learn SQL. It also gives you hands-on practice and step-by-step -step examples, so you can use SQL while you're learning. Check out the link in the description if you want to go from watching tutorials to actually writing SQL with confidence. Let me give you a few more examples because this concept really matters. Imagine trying to learn football by only watching games. You might know the rules and be able to pick up some strategy, but you won't have the reflexes or stamina until you play. This can apply to whatever form of football comes to mind. Another example is learning guitar. You could watch 10 hours of YouTube tutorials on chords, but your fingers won't remember them until you pick up the guitar and practice. Cooking is another one. You can watch recipes and read books, but until you chop ingredients, cook them and burn a few dishes, you won't really get it. SQL is exactly the same. The skill comes from doing. Watching alone won't cut it. So let's get practical. How do you actually break out of tutorial hell and start making real progress? Here is a simple process you can follow. First, open your SQL editor. Then, create a simple table with two or three columns using the create table statement. Then, insert a few rows of sample data. Even just three to five rows is enough to start with. Next, start writing some select queries to answer some simple questions, such as what is the highest amount, or what is the average amount, or what is the longest name. Now, the point of this exercise isn't to create a perfect database. The point is to practice asking and answering questions with SQL queries. From there, you can move on to real data sets. There are many places online you can find these data sets, like on Kaggle, but start small. The act of typing out queries and testing them is how you build real skill. Now, here's the good news. Once you get into the habit of practicing, you'll notice huge changes. You won't get stuck as easily when faced with a problem. You'll also start recognizing patterns in queries, and you'll feel way more confident because you've actually done the work, not just watched someone else do it. This confidence compounds. 
each problem you solve with writing SQL makes the next one easier. Once you've got some practice with the basics, the next step is to work with some real data. In the next video, I'll show you how to find some real data sets and start practicing with them, even if you're brand new. That's where the real progress happens. So make sure you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.